Welcome to Learn English with Faisal Hamid. Today we are going to see how do we change direct narration into indirect narration. In the previous lecture, we talked about what is direct narration, what is indirect narration, what is reporting speech, and what is reported speech. So today we are going to move further and let's see what we have. Let me tell you the rules for changing direct narration into indirect narration. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about what are the rules which we follow to change direct narration into indirect narration. Always remember, there are three changes which are made when we change narration from direct into indirect. The first change is the change of verb. Second change is the change of pronoun. And the third change is change of certain words. And these certain words are, most of them are adverbs. Let's see what changes we do while we change the verb. Remember the verb in reporting speech is called reporting verb and the verb in reported speech is called reported verb. In the previous lecture, we talked about reporting speech. Reporting speech was, that was outside inverted commas and reported speech was, which was within inverted commas. And we saw in the previous lecture that there was a verb in reporting speech and there was a verb in reported speech. So the verb that is in reporting speech, we call it reporting verb. So you have to remember this phrase, reporting verb, the verb that is found in reporting speech, it is called reporting verb. And the verb that is found in reported speech, the speech that is within inverted commas, that verb is called reported verb. So we have two, reporting verb and reported verb. Let's move further. Always remember, when you change the verb in reported speech, you have to change the reporting verb. Reporting verb and reported verb are connected to each other. Reporting verb tells reported verb, either you have to change yourself or not. See what we have. If the reporting verb is in present or future tense, the reported verb will remain unchanged. So what you are going to do, check the reporting verb, check its tense. It can be either in future tense, or in present tense, or in past tense. If reporting verb is in present tense or in future tense, your reported verb will not be changed. So don't worry if your reporting verb or report, reporting verb is in present or in future, you are not going to change the reported verb. Let's see the example. I say to him, so I say to him, I love my country. What is my reporting speech? It is I say to him. What is reporting verb? It is say. So say is present tense. It is present indefinite tense. So love that is a reported verb, it will remain unchanged. See what we have. I say to him that I love my country. So love is not changed. Why? Because reporting verb say is in present tense. Let's see another example. I will say to him, I love my country. Will say is a reporting verb. Will is the helping verb and say is the main verb. When reporting verb is in future tense, we are not going to change reported verb. See, 
I will say to him that I love my country. There is no change in the reported verb in indirect narration even. In direct narration, I love my country. It was same. And I, I love my country in indirect narration. So both are same. Why? Because our reporting verb will say is in future tense. Let's move further. If the reporting verb is in past tense, the reported verb will be changed. So there's next point. If your reporting verb is in past, you are going to change your reported verb, but there will be one exception, which we are going to talk about later. So let's see what we have. Example, I said to him, I love my country. The sentence is same, but see, Reporting verb is changed now. Before that, it was say and will say. Here it is said. That is past form of the verb. So when reporting verb is in past form, your reported verb will be changed. So see, I said to him that I loved my country. Now we have changed the reported verb. So remember, when reporting verb is in past, your reported verb will be changed. But there is an exception to this rule. What is that exception? If there is universal truth is in reported speech, the reported verb will remain unchanged. So what is universal truth? The facts that cannot be denied. See, the example, he said to me, God helps those who help themselves. See, he said to me, Reporting verb is in past, but God helps those who help themselves. It is called a universal truth. So see, when we change it into indirect narration, what we have, he said to me that God helps those who help themselves. There is no change in reporting reported verb, though reporting verb is in past. So remember, whenever you have universal truth in your reported speech, your reported verb will be unchanged. Even your reporting verb is in past. Let's move further. Now, we are going to assume that our reporting verb is in past. So see how the verb in, uh, in reported speech changes when we change the sentence from direct into indirect. If in direct narration, you have present simple tense, in indirect narration, it will be changed into past simple. Means when you have present form of the verb or does not or do not or does or do as helping verb, it will be present simple. So you will change it into past form of the verb or did plus present form. Let's see the example. I said to him, I love my country. So love is present form of the verb. So the tense is present indefinite. So we are going to change it into past simple or past indefinite. So it will become, I told him that I loved my country. So present form changes into past form. Or if it is negative, then do plus love will be changed into did plus love. So present simple always changes into past simple. Now see the second change. Present continuous, in, if, in, the, if in, in, in direct narration, your reported speech is in present continuous, in indirect narration, it will be changed into past continuous. So if you have is, am, are, plus verb plus ing form, present participle form, it will be changed into was, were, plus present participle or verb plus ing form. So main change will be only the change of helping verb. We have is, am, are in present continuous and in past continuous, they are was and were. So this is the main change. See, I said to him, I'm loving my country is changed into, I told him that I was loving my country. Let's see the next tense. Present perfect will be changed into past perfect. When you have has, have, and past participle form, it will be changed into had plus past participle form. So see the example, I said to him, I have loved my country. So have loved means 
it is present perfect. So it will be changed into past perfect. So for past perfect, you have had plus past participle form. So it will be, I told him that I had loved my country. Next will be present perfect continuous. If you have present perfect continuous tense in indirect narration, it will be changed into past perfect continuous tense. I said to him, I have been loving my country. So have been or has been plus present participle will be changed into had been plus present participle form. So I told him that I had been loving my country. So have been or has been will be changed into had been. And after that, the verb will be same. Now we come to the past tense. Past simple is changed into past perfect. If in direct narration in reported speech, if you have past form of the verb or did plus present form of the verb, you are going to change it into had plus past participle form. Let's see the sentence. I said to him, I loved my country. Loved is past form of the verb. So the tense is past simple. So you are going to change it into, I told him that I had loved my country. So I had loved is past perfect. Now see past continuous. Past continuous changes into past perfect continuous tense. Let's see the example. I said to him, I was loving my country. So in past continuous, we have was or were as helping verb. And a main verb is verb plus ing form or present participle form. It will be changed into had been plus present participle form or verb plus ing form. So it will be, I told him that I had been loving my country. So was or were will be changed into had been. Let's see the next tense. Past perfect will remain unchanged. Past perfect will remain past perfect. If you have had plus past participle form, it will remain had plus past participle form. Let's see the example. I said to him, I had loved my country. It will remain same. I told him that I had loved my country. There is no change in the tense. And next tense is past perfect continuous, present perfect continuous tense. So in past perfect continuous tense, uh, sorry for the mistake. So past perfect continuous tense is also unchanged. If you have had been loving, it will remain had been loving. So I said to him, I had been loving my country. It will remain the same. I told him that I had been loving my country. So remember past perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense, they both remain unchanged. Tense will remain same. Now we move further. So next slide is, we have future tense. Always remember in all four futures, we have shall or will. So remember, wherever you find shall or will, you will change it into would. Instead of knowing either it is present, uh, either it is future indefinite, future continuous, future perfect, future, conti future perfect continuous tense, you need not to know what tense it is. Wherever you find shall or will, change it into would. So I said to him, I shall love my country. It will change into, I told him that I would love my country. Now see, certain uh, modal verbs, can, may, must, has to, and have to. These five are changed into, can will be changed into could, may will be changed into might and must, has to and have to are changed into had to. And remember, if you already have could or might or had to, they will remain unchanged. So let's see the example. We have given one example, but rule will be the same. And remember, after can, may, must, has to, have to, could, might or had to, verb will be same, that is base form. 
See the example. I said to him, I must love my country. So it will be changed into, I told him that I had to love my country. If it were, I said to him, I can love my country. It, will be, it would be changed into, I told him that I could love my country. Same if it was, uh, I, if I may love, it would be changed into, I might love. So these are certain rules regarding the change of verb in reported speech. I hope you have understood the lecture. Thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz.